Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. If you own a 2020 HPE Vespa or you watch my reviews of it, what do you know about it? Top speed slower. Well, guess what? How's it limited? Not by the RPMs, but is limited by the detected wheel speed. Well, fortunately, there's a solution for you. Part number GTS-HPE-Speed. The rear wheel speed sensor is what the computer uses to base the, um, the top speed limit on these scooters. And out of Germany, this has been engineered to have, you know, report 7% 7, 7 slower to the ECU. So, or it's actually like 10%, I think 10% slower. So that gains you seven miles an hour. Like you can pretty much hit 85 miles an hour with a scooter once you put this on. No problem. Uh, so it's all speed limited. And you can watch my prior video on doing a tire change. So pretty much if you're doing a rear tire change, perfect time to upgrade your uh, speed on your GTS. Totally reversible, but let's get right to it on installation. So watch the, uh, how-to video on changing a tire. And then you can see when we're at this point where we have the wheel and that's the stock speed sensor. Travis is on the job. One thing about the screws is typically they are locked tight in. And the only way to break them free is with some heat. And you gotta just be extra careful. You know, it's, it's a powder coated rim so you don't wanna overheat it. If you have the wheel all the way off, it is possible to put it in an oven, maybe heat it about 250 degrees, 300 degrees, and that would be enough to break up, break up the um, the uh, lock Loctite. So he's got an Allen key right here, and putting a lot of pressure on it. And he's going to do that to each one of the bolts. You know, there's a lot of force on them because they have Loctite on it, and it's even too much for this the automatic little uh, screwdriver. Otherwise, if you don't do these steps, you can just strip out every single screw. You're gonna be drilling all those screws out and you're gonna have a complete disaster on your, case, on your hands. So Travis is removing the last stubborn screw, loosening up the Loctite with a little bit of heat here. And let's see how that goes. Dun, da, da, da. A bunch of hot potatoes there. Let those screws uh, cool off. The old disc, where does that go in the trash? There's the new disc. You keep in mind those spacers are loose, so they'll want to go away. He'll have put a small dab of Loctite on the new screws. You know, hopefully not as much as they did from the factory, because it's probably not necessary. There's even quite a bit of friction because there's just remaining Loctite in the, the bosses. So he's got all the screws in with the power drivers. You can go back around, just double check. Don't want to over tighten them. They're just small fasteners. Not critical to torque them or anything, but just make sure they're all even and snug. So now the wheel goes back on and we'll jump into calibration of the traction control. Because the only way this is gonna work is if you recalibrate the traction control. So whether you're just installing the speed sensor or doing a tire change, you need to recalibrate your ASR system. This is on a 2015 and newer Vespa GTS. So he started the scooter. Rolled it. He rolled it just a little bit to turn off the ABS and ASR light and then ASR is off and on the SuperTech it's indicated by that. He's gonna hold both the start button and the ASR button. And see how the, the flash rate is like a slow blink versus the faster blink. Now he's gonna go on a ride on a smooth, straight surface around 18 miles per hour. And you're gonna continue doing that until the light uh, goes off. I recall. I think it goes on solid and then you have to cycle it. Through. It actually goes on solid and then you cycle the ASR off and then the, the ASR system is then calibrated. So here you go. This is all you need 
to let the magic pixies escape out of the tailpipe of your 2020 GTS HPE. Get some extra speed, you get the speedometer, it's now accurate and doesn't indicate 85 miles an hour when you're barely hitting 75 and hitting the, the limiter. Now it's pretty close to the true miles per hour that you're going along with a top speed of about 85 miles per hour. Uh, pretty simple install as you saw. Perfect time to do is when you're changing the rear tire. I uh, hope you found that useful and interesting. Until next time, this is Robot from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Check out all our other videos on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Most of the videos pertain to the Vespa GTS and accessories, service, all that stuff. I have plenty of vintage Vespa videos, which is my passion. I like the vintage Vespas. Um, and check us out on the web, scooterwest.com. Again, look, look in the description for all the part numbers of uh, the parts used to do this job. Robot here, ride safe.